The Miami Heat. No one said it was going to be easy. And let's be real here. This team made a lot of their fans sweat for the last week or so. But the Miami Heat, nonetheless, get it done. They defeat the Boston Celtics in Game 7, 103-84. to And just when it looked like the Miami Heat were going to blow a 3-0 series lead and be on the wrong side of NBA history, the Miami Heat, they do that. They fool everybody. And they play some of the best basketball we have seen from them these playoffs. I think all the Miami Heat needed was to be a big underdog coming in because the Miami Heat were a seven and a half point underdog in this game seven. And that was enough to wake them up. We saw the Miami Heat of old. We saw the Miami Heat redeem themselves in the biggest way possible. The Boston Celtics really did all that just to get embarrassed on its home floor in a game seven. The Miami Heat get it done, guys. And I know this fan base is feeling good right now. And I'm happy for you guys. I really am. The Miami Heat, this team, an incredible story. Playing team, making the NBA Finals. Second eighth seed in NBA history to make it to the NBA Finals. This Heat team, I'm not going to lie to all of you. They have made me a lot of money these playoffs because I continue to bet Heat money line, especially when they're a big dog. You better believe I had them in this one. The Miami Heat, they get it done. And Jimmy Butler, there was a clip last year when the heat lost game seven to the boston celtics and he said we're gonna get it done next year and what do you know a year later the miami heat led by jimmy butler get it done if that's not a true indicator that you should never stop believing in yourself i don't know what is this is just incredible man the narrative coming into this game right was how the miami heat were going to blow this thing and they were going to become the first team ever to blow a 3-0 series lead and how the Boston Celtics had all the momentum they completely turned the series upside down how they had a game seven at home because the three previous teams that came back from 0-3 down to force a game seven they didn't have game seven on its home floor this was the first time that's happened. So it really looked like the Celtics were going to come out flying. It looked like the Celtics were going to do the impossible, right? Malcolm Brogdon was uh, able to go in this one. And it did not look good for Miami. And I know a lot of their fans, they were nervous. And they did not know what to expect in this one. And this just had such a big game feel. And then it started with Jason Tatum clearly turning that ankle and he was not the same the rest of the way because Jason Tatum only had 14 points but the Miami Heat they put the pressure from the first quarter and on and they never let up they outscored the Boston Celtics in three of the four quarters and you gotta look at the guys who came up big in this one Jimmy Butler he had 28 points, 6 assists, 7 rebounds. He looked a lot more like the Jimmy Butler we saw in the first three games of the series than the previous three games that we saw in the series. And he ends up winning Eastern Conference MVP. I don't think anybody's arguing that. He definitely deserved it. But a guy who really put this Heat team on his back, a true unsung hero, a guy who was a DNP in last year's Game 7 against the Boston Celtics, Caleb Martin. Put some respect on this man's name. 26 points, 10 rebounds. He was hitting shot after shot after shot, making it look so easy out there. And when Miami's offense looked stagnant and it looked like the Boston Celtics may make a run, Kayla Martin was the answer all night. I cannot believe how well Kayla Martin played with this type of of game in front of him I mean this dude was on and you look at the Miami Heat they needed this from Kayla Martin because Bam Adebayo was struggling mightily in this one I mean there were times where I was like Bam what the hell are you doing he was selling hard Bam did not have the game that you expected him to have he had 12 10 and 7 but Kayla Martin came through in the biggest way and it's been guys like Kayla Martin Max Strews Duncan Robinson, these role players, Gabe Vincent, that have done it all season long for the Miami Heat. Along with that, the Miami Heat defense, 
they did an amazing job because the Boston Celtics, who all of a sudden turned it up from three-point range, they struggled mightily from three, from game six into all of game seven. I mean, the Boston Celtics, that was another big difference in this one. They only shot 21.4% from three. The Boston Celtics cannot hit a three. They're only 39% from the field. And the Miami Heat forced the Boston Celtics into 15 turnovers. Jalen Brown, he had so many turnovers. Jalen Brown decision making was horrible in this one. And Miami, they were like a pack of dogs. You know, whether it was pressing the Boston Celtics full court press, just getting after it, creating turnovers, the Miami Heat, they treated every possession like the game was on the line. You knew the Miami Heat were not going to give an inch in this one. And in that third quarter, when things started to tighten up a bit, the Miami Heat did an amazing job of opening that fourth quarter on that run. They ended up outscoring the Celtics 27-18. to So the Boston Celtics three ball wasn't falling. The Heat's defense really tightened up. They really did a good job in winning the turnover battle. And Miami, they got that production from a guy like Kayla Martin when they needed it the most when... Bam Adebayo was struggling, and Jimmy Butler, who got off to a little bit of the slow start, definitely came alive in the second half to put this one away. And Jalen Brown, he only had 19. He was not nearly as good as the Celtics had hoped, especially when Tatum looked like that he was going to be dealing with a lot of pain all night. Tatum only had 14. We're usually expecting Tatum to go off in these closeout games. And Derek White, I mean, you could argue he was the Celtics' best player. Obviously, White was the reason why we got a seventh game in this series. He had 18. But other than that, the role players from the Boston Celtics, they didn't do their job and everybody thought that the Boston Celtics other guys were going to be the difference in this one you look at a guy like Brogdon who actually was able to play he didn't play last game he had no points no assists no rebounds no production in seven minutes so the Miami Heat I I don't even know what to say at this point guys like you got to just give this team so much credit the Miami Heat thrive when their backs are up against the wall this was a team that was up 3-0 and it looked like at that point okay the Heat are going to win this thing in four or five then they drop game four Okay, they're going to get in game five. Then they drop game five. Okay, things are getting interesting now. The Heat definitely got to win in game six. I even said the Heat needed to win game six because I did not think Miami was going to do this in game seven. And the Miami Heat, they lose game six in heartbreaking fashion. So all that trauma, all of that misery, all of that heartbreak with the wrong side of history knocking on your doorstep, You got to walk into a hostile environment to play the Celtics team in a winner-take-all game seven. You knew a Boston's history of making these epic comebacks, right? The Red Sox did it in uh, 2004 against the Yankees. The New England Patriots came back from 28-3 down in the 2017 Super Bowl. The Miami Heat could have easily folded. They could have easily crumbled. They could have easily choked. And right now, they would be made a mockery for many years to come. They would have been made a meme. But instead, Miami, they're like, we are going to get this done. And they controlled this game throughout. They did not leave the door open for the Celtics. And the Miami Heat get it done in convincing fashion. This is just a true testament of what this team is made up of. And this Miami Heat team, they deserve this, man. They deserve to win this series. After ESPN only gave them a 3% chance to win this series, they deserve to make it to the NBA Finals. And they deserve to have a chance to win a title. And... Let's not forget the Heat now have a chance to make their own history. No eight seed has ever won the NBA championship. So tip your hat to this Miami Heat team. They have shown us that when it looks like they are down, they are not out. This team has defied the odds all season. You look at how their postseason started with the plan, barely getting in. They knock off the number one seed in the Bucks, many people's championship favorite. They beat the Knicks. And then they beat the Boston Celtics in seven, another team that people had making it to the finals and winning the chip. And now, guess what? The Miami Heat, who have thrived as the underdog all season long, all postseason long, they're going to be another huge underdog in their next matchup in the NBA Finals because you better believe the number one seed in the West Nuggets are going to be a massive favorite against the Heat. But you know what? That is actually good news for the Miami Heat. Because like I said at the top of this video, I don't know what it is, but the Miami Heat seem to do a lot better and seem to wake up when they are a big underdog.
written off and not expected to win. He fans, soak it all in. Let me know how you're feeling, guys. Hit a like on this video. It does help it a ton. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Plus, hit post notifications. I will continue to cover this Miami Heat team. It's going to be a hell of a finals. You got two very likable teams going head-to-head. -head. This is going to be just true basketball. No BS narratives. It's just going to be all about basketball. And for that, I think this is going to be an amazing NBA Finals. We're going to see some great matchups. Either Jimmy Butler or Nikola Jokic is going to win a legacy-defining ring, their first. So I'm super excited for this 2023 NBA Finals. I think we really are in for a treat. Let me know your full thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. And yeah, hit a like and subscribe on your way out. That is it for me. This is Luca signing off, and I will catch you all again in the next video.